since the media is blacking this out and journalists across the country seem completely disinterested in this, it's been left to citizen journalists on the ground to document what they're experiencing. And this is a compilation of some of the things that citizens near East Palestine have experienced since this so-called controlled burn. Take a look at this. Of train derailed Friday, 20 of them carrying hazardous materials as flames lit up the sky in northeastern Ohio. The evacuation order is in place for anyone within a mile radius of the crash site. These aren't these aren't storm clouds. This is the burn off in East Palestine. This is not storm clouds. Look at it. Officials are claiming that the air and water are safe. The residents say they can still smell chlorine. They've complained about their eyes watering when they go outside. And one woman says the noxious air killed her chickens. Out of nowhere, he just started coughing really hard and just shut down and went very fast. Look at all these crows. I'm not kidding. This is within 10 miles of East Palestine. You have not evacuated. So what exactly happened is on Friday, a train, uh, a Norfolk Southern train essentially crashed. It went off the rails. And um, this train was carrying tanker cars, tanker cars full of toxic chemicals. And some of these toxic chemicals leaked out of these tanker cars. So before we even get to what happened next, I want to address the question, well, why did this happen? How, how did this train go off the rails? Literally, not, the, not just the phrase. How did this train go off the rails? Because um, this is a pretty serious accident to happen. We do hear about train accidents, but one carrying toxic chemicals, could this have been prevented or was there some negligence that led to this? And the answer to that is it appears that, that, that there was some negligence. The National Transportation Safety Board said that there were, uh, quote, preliminary indications of mechanical issues on an axle on one of these tanker cars. So the axle was broken. In fact, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette showed that this train had traveled more than 20 miles with a broken axle. So five of the cars that derailed were filled with these toxic chemicals and the toxic chemicals spilled. And we do have a manifest of what, what chemicals were spilled. The, probably the most famous one, the one that we're all hearing about is vinyl chloride. We're gonna talk about that more in just a second. But some of the other ones are ethylene glycol monobutyl ether, ether, isobutylene, ethyl hexyl acrylate, these are serious chemicals, right? These are these are not. This is not a joke. This is not your. your this is not. Um, this is not something that's benign. This is hazardous material. These are combustible, poisonous, toxic carcinogens. In fact, this brings us back into a into the into a circle. Um, the same question that we were talking about before, when I said, "Well, these plumes that we're seeing in the sky, this is not the accident." The plumes that we saw in the sky was the deliberate choice of government officials to quote unquote stage this controlled burn. 